In past lessons, we have learned how to compare fractions. If the denominators are the same, then we look at the numerators. If the denominators are the same, we know that they are the same equal parts. So, the bigger numerator means that it is the bigger fraction. So, in this case, one-fourth is less than three-fourths. If the fractions have the same numerator, then we look at the denominators. Now, the bigger the denominator, the smaller the fraction, because that means you have to share with more people. The smaller the denominator means it's the greater fraction. So one-third is less than one-half. Today we're going to compare fractions that don't have the same denominator or numerator. We're going to use benchmark fractions to help us figure it out. Let's look at 0, 1 half, and 1, because this is going to help us figure out our benchmark fractions. We know that 1 half is greater than 0. We also know that 1 is greater than 1 half. So using what we know about 0, 1 half, and 1, it's going to help us solve problems when we compare fractions. Let's use benchmark fractions to help us compare fractions. Carrie wants to buy two sixths of a container of peanuts. Alan wants to buy two thirds of the same container of peanuts. Who's going to buy more peanuts? What we're trying to find is which fraction is greater, two sixths or two thirds? We need to know that the whole is the same size in order to help us compare these fractions. Let's look at our benchmark fractions we're going to use today. We have zero, we have half, and we have one. I know that two-sixths is going to be less than one-half, and I know this because three-sixths is the same as one-half. So I'm going to draw my 2 6 about here. Then I'm going to look at 2 thirds. I know that 2 thirds is greater than 1 half. So I'm going to draw my 2 thirds about here. Let's use our fraction strips to help us figure this out. If this is one whole, this would be 0. In the middle would be half. And over here would be 1. And if I look, here's 2 6 and here's 2 thirds. Using my fraction strips, I know that I was right. 2 6 is less than 1 half, and 2 thirds is a little bit more than 1 half. So, that being said, I can say that 2 thirds is greater than 2 6. And then I can also say that Alan is going to get more peanuts. So with my jar of peanuts, if this is about half, I would say that Carrie's going to buy about this many peanuts. And I would say that Alan would be buying about this many pe peanuts, which is more. Let's talk about socks. In Chris's sock drawer, two-thirds of the socks are white. In his sister's sock drawer, two-eighths of the socks are white. And they have the same number of socks. So the question is, who has more white socks? Well, let's use our benchmark fractions to help us out. I have zero, I have one, half, and I have one. And let's look at our fractions. Our first fraction is two-thirds, because Chris's sock drawer is two-thirds white. Well, I know from using my fraction strips that two-thirds is more than one-half. So it's just a little bit more than one-half. Let's look at two-eighths. I know that two-eighths is less than one-half, because I know that four-eighths is the same as saying one-half. So two-eighths would be less. 
So if I was going to compare these two fractions, I would say 2 thirds is greater than 2 eighths. If we use a number line to help us compare, we can see on the number line that 2 eighths is less than 2 thirds, which means that Chris has more white socks than his sister.